You know, not very long ago, BMW was saying that electric cars were not the future, that, well, people really wanted petrol cars, and clearly, by the fact that the i3 wasn't selling, nobody wanted electric cars. But since then, they obviously watched my channel and saw me predict that they'd go bankrupt and realized that the writing was on the wall. And now, BMW CEO Oliver Zips says that the BMW i4 is sold out for months, and so is the iX. High demand for EVs will now prompt the company to add 6,000 new jobs in 2022. So what's happened? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. What's happened is BMW have just come to their senses. They were idiotically stupid. How a company of that size can be that retarded to say these kinds of things. Honestly, I feel bad using that word retarded because... It's a disservice to people who have some level of retardation because this is a greater level than that. This is a level of insane excess stupidity where they actually made a decent EV, not even that good. It's decent, decent EV. And all of a sudden they realized that they were wrong. There is insane demand for electric vehicles. Welcome to the channel. Fantastic to have you here. It's been an amazing 2021. It's been an awesome journey with many of you along the way. So I want to say welcome to all you new subscribers. There's been a huge number of new subscribers over the last few months. And welcome back to everyone else. We've just hit 51,000 subscribers. Started this channel a bit less than eight months ago. It's been an amazing journey. I hope that 2022 for you is an amazing year. And I want to make it the best year you've ever had by providing you with the best YouTube information you can get anywhere. So what's going on at BMW? Well, they're progressing on an electrification path. They've drastically changed course over the last six months and have reported growing demand for their latest all-electric car models. The company's CEO, Oliver Zips, revealed to German Daily via Automotive News that the all-new BMW i4 and iX are both sold out for months. Zips said demand for EVs was extremely high our i4 is sold out for months, as is the iX. Now, obviously, we don't know the exact numbers here. They haven't disclosed those, but it's amazing to hear and unsurprising to hear that the long-awaited new electric vehicles from BMW based on the fifth generation EV tech are attracting a lot of orders. Once you make a decent EV, as you can see, people will buy it. Not really rocket science, is it? So finally, things are going in kind of the right direction and at a much better pace than they were previously for BMW. As they're now saying they're gonna create 6,000 new jobs for EVs in 2022. This is why we will increase our workforce by up to 5% next year, said the CEO. Now I do have to mention that they did just come up with a BMW 3 Series electric vehicle, which is basically a heap of junk in China. They just took a 3 Series petrol powered vehicle and smash some batteries and some electric motors inside of it. It's massively compromised vehicle. It's 350 kilos heavier than a similarly sized Tesla Model 3, which is ridiculous. So they're still doing things in some half-assed ways at BMW. I own a BMW, not for long, hopefully. But, you know, let's be honest, I've got to call it like I see it. I'm not here to just kiss people's asses. I'm here to tell you the truth. And BMW still is still not fully in on EVs they're still kind of dipping some toes in the water. And I hope that that changes because if it doesn't, then they are obviously in a bit of trouble. Now, I personally think BMW sales will decrease next year in 2022. That's my prediction. One of the key reasons for that is I think more electric car manufacturers such as Tesla are going to enter the European market where they're going to sell their cars at a lower price. And those cars are going to be a better quality considering they're going to be newer models. And the Tesla Model Y being manufactured in Germany will definitely take some sales away. In addition to that, I think Volkswagen is making some impressive EVs at a price that more people can actually afford. And I really don't see a real compelling reason to pay a lot more for a BMW EV versus a Volkswagen EV. But there's another a range of other reasons as well, including production of EVs. From what I can see, BMW will not produce anywhere near enough electric cars in 2022 to meet demand. What that'll mean is customers will go elsewhere because they'll have no choice. Now, the BMW Group has technically sold more than 1 million plug-in electric cars. That includes, obviously, plug-in hybrids, and will add another million, they say, before 2025. Obviously, that's still four years away, though. 
Now, recently it was announced that the BMW iX xDrive 50 has an EPA range of up to 324 miles or 521 kilometers, while the BMW i4 eDrive 40 will go up to 301 miles or 484 kilometers, compared to 270 miles and 434 kilometers for the i4 M50. Now, in 2020, BMW said that the lineup of BMW i3 and i3s and the Mini Cooper SE and the BMW iX3 will see a big expansion. And obviously, as you know, the iX and the i4 are already here. Now, all these naming terminologies that BMW are giving to their cars honestly is confusing me a little bit. I have been an avid reader of motoring magazines for, I don't know, 30 years, ever since I was a kid. I knew every single model on the face of the planet. I read everything. But now that they're putting all these weird prefixes and all these weird names, I, I am struggling a little bit with remembering all the different models. However, the next all electric model in the pipeline for the electric BMW vehicles is the 7 Series, and apparently this should come in 2022. But of course, the 7 Series is a very minuscule seller as it's their most expensive vehicle. So I don't predict there'll be a whole lot of sales for the 7 Series electric vehicle next year. Same with the Model S and the Model X. They're just too expensive for the average car buyer. Now, following that release, we will see an all new electric BMW 5 Series. Apparently this will actually be a proper one, not like the 3 Series in China. This will be a proper electric car built from the ground up. And we're gonna see an all electric BMW X1. In addition, I also reported on the electric mini that's gonna be coming in either 2022 or 2023, depending on what market you're in. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. By 2023 though, there will be 25 plug-in BMW models that includes hybrids on the market. Most of them will be all electric, which is a huge shift in BMW's philosophy and actual products from the mostly plug-in hybrid and ICE cars of the past few years. And it's a huge shift in their thinking. The reality is though, I don't think they're capable of producing a lot of those electric cars. As you can see, they're already sold out for months for these vehicles. So they're gonna to need to significantly ramp up production in order to not lose market share. So either way you look at this, it is actually good news for BMW. BMW, I think, are potentially turning a corner, but not quite enough in my view. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.